Adam Pleb, so as of recording this video, um, this was the build here that I used uh, for this uh, Predator Plant Shadow build. I was so hyped for this deck until literally like two days ago I figured out that the good plants aren't actually out until Maximum Crisis, so that's quite a shame. But I thought I would post this video anyway since um, uh, Duncan sent me a pretty cool list that I started to kind of work on myself. Um, so as of recording this video, this is what I used in this video. I thought I would show you that. I just wanted to quickly mention um, I found a lot of contradictions with the deck building here, so I just wanted to point out some fixes that you can make. Um, most notably, uh, the Brilliant Fusion Engine. Um, the Brilliant Fusion Engine is completely useless in this deck. You only need one normal summon uh, for this deck to do well. So if you open Lone Fire or any of the Scorpios or Rat, those, lone, those normal summons are fine. You don't need more than one normal summon. Um, the Brilliant Fusion just it, it, it there's no point. I tried it with Trick Clown as well. Uh, Trick Clown didn't actually facilitate anything. Trick Clown was actually just more annoying than anything because it kept filling up my zones. I wasn't able to overextend into anything. Um, so as of playing this as well, another contradiction I found was Maxi. Now you'd think Maxi is a really good card and it, you know you could probably keep it in because obviously you're not guaranteed to go first every game. Um, but you could maybe just replace it with something that has a little bit more utility if you're just going to be playing online, of course. Um, so going second, you can play... Uh, for, for better going second cards, you could maybe max out on the Ghost Ogres. You could play Board Wipes. Um, now the reason that it's... I, I, pro I didn't even mention, actually. The reason it's a contradiction in this deck is because, like, uh, your good hands and basically every... This deck is super consistent. Um, every hand literally ends with Winda. So Maxi isn't giving you anything in that situation. You're not like benefiting from the Maxi because of the window that you make every turn. Um, so as of you know this video, I could uh, what I would suggest would be um, well, Soul Charge is down here in the side deck. You might want to play that, uh, but most importantly, um, I think we all know what deck what card uh, deserves to be put in here. D Barrier, um, Soul Charge again is uh, more of a comeback card more than anything. So your board fills up with like five monsters most of the time anyway you probably don't want to play that um i didn't max out on the shadow fusions because well um you know they're searchable uh pr pretty easily now on the other hand if you do want to consider the fact that you'll be going second a lot with this deck you could just bump it up to free so you could play it like this um for the final slot honestly I'm already playing Upstart, so um, there's a whole bunch of things you could consider. There's a Foolish Burial here. Um, Duncan's got like a Glow Up Bulb in the side, um, a Terra Top as well. Those are different cards that you might want to consider putting in the main deck. Honestly, I didn't feel the need for Terra Top at all. Um, yeah, I just think that maybe just another trap here would, a good, uh, would be fine. You could put in Raigeki, a third Ghost Ogre. Uh, there's just so much space in this deck. Even the Ghost Ogre, now that I cut Brilliant Fusion, I only played the Ghost Ogres because they were light. So you could cut Ghost Ogres, and now, well, you're down to 37 cards. It's really up to yourself what you want to put in here, honestly. Um, the deck's super versatile. There's quite a lot of space. Really, like, you could get away with, like, you know, 35 cards if this deck could, could play, if that was allowed. Um, you don't need a lot of it. Um, even potentially instant fusion you could uh, cut down because you know it's searchable. Um, you uh, you search your polymerization with the what's it called, with the black sheep. And then normally you search the instant fusion after you make Kagasuchi to make emerald. Um, so when you make Winda, because it's quite a shadow, uh, low shadow number, uh, and because we don't have construct anymore, El Shadow feels really pointless. So it feels like there's no reason to make uh, El Shadow live really. Um, in this deck, so could I? Could you cut El Shadol? I mean, maybe. <laughs> like honestly, it's um, the most important polymerization uh, fusion spell in this deck is polymerization because that's the one you search. That's the one you're guaranteed to get off the zoo combo. So yeah, um, there's a whole different bunch of ways that you can play this deck. But anyway, um, I've left in the comments. Uh, I've left after this video, sorry, in the comment section. Um, some. Uh, a couple of games that I've played. Um, probably should have mentioned the extra deck as well. Sorry, before I get into that. Uh, there's a Totem Bird in here. Uh, accident. <laughs> Can't make this. <laughs> Don't play Totem Bird. But there's quite a lot of space, honestly. You can uh, obviously cut the Seraphonite, since I'm not playing the Blue Note Fusion anymore. So, um, the extra deck, surprisingly, is not that tight <laughs> for uh, a deck that runs three engines. So, put what you will in here. There's uh, a lot of options for you. Um, 
this uh, hedgehog could be bumped up to two perhaps falco is sort of bad in this deck but you can maybe just play one just because of the fact that you use five zones a lot so probably getting way ahead of myself here doing maximum crisis theory but i'm just really upset because of the fact that i was so happy to play this deck because it's so fun super consistent so 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 consistent um the worst hand i got which you'll see in the video is like invoker winda falco you know and that's still decent because it's winda and winda's really relevant um yeah there's uh not much else i think i could really say for the extra deck honestly um just because of the fact that there this is three engines you can imagine that there's a lot of versatility here so there's a whole bunch of different tech cards that you can include that i i don't know any of them trust me i don't know um i know that ultimate tyranno thing was played because because you don't use your normal summon a lot in this deck uh you could maybe play that if but you'd need brilliant fusion for that to be honest um i don't know there's just so many different angles and ways to take this deck going forward um i guess i'll just uh end off this video with a, a, a final sort of uh, build right now um i mean it's just i just play three strike and i guess you could cut like oh i don't even know um you could literally just there's so many options to cut here oh garnet of course <laughs> i just left the garnet in my deck so yeah this is what i would play now so I just wanted to show you what I used in the video. And this here is probably what I would go ahead with just because traps offer a lot of utility and stuff. But hey ho, what's the point in theorizing a format that's like four months away? <laughs> I'm just sad, man. I, I, I've i never been someone who uh, played plants because I didn't start playing back then. So I never got to experience the full extent of plants. So this is as close as I'm going to get to playing plants, eh? Anyway... Uh, like I said, I'm sure there's a whole bunch of amazing tech cards. If you know any, let me know what you think and tell me what they are. And enjoy the replays, guys. Enjoy.